I am Iron Man. Here I come. What's up, people? This is Trans Roller 12 with an Iron Man review. As you can see here, we have the Mark III Iron Man from the new freaking awesome Iron Man movie that was so freaking long and so freaking annoying. But, cool movie. I liked it. You should go see it whenever it comes out on DVD. It's worth seeing on DVD because it should be a lot better than go to the theaters because if you went to go to, th to see it at the theaters, it was packed and people were talking and it was sucky. And plus you went with your friends and they wouldn't shut up. Sorry, I did a personal note. But he's cool. He's really, really detailed. He's worth 10 bucks. Um, I lost the shoulder pads because I lose everything in my house. So it looks a lot better without the shoulder pads. He see, where's my freaking? Where are you? Oh, I lost my figure. Crap. Hold on a second. Here, let's look at Iron Man for a little. Here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed looking at Iron Man. Here's my movie master's Batman, and you can see he comes with shoulder pads too, which kind of suck because you can't get any movement out of him. But he, he, now that he has movement, he's pretty good. His arms can go 360, well, 360 degrees here, 360 degrees here. You can go in and out in two places on his elbow. So you use some weird poses with his elbow. Um, his hand can go 360 degrees and go in and out. His head can go 360 degrees. It's on a really sticky ball joint. As you can see, hear that annoying sound? It's kind of creepy. Ugh. His legs can go 360 degrees. Well, yeah, it's kind of difficult. Um, is this part of the... Oh, I gotta get it positioned now because I completely messed it up. Crap. hate people that make these things so freaking complicated. Yeah. You know what? I hate this freaking thing. Okay, there we go. Um, hey, these parts can go, well, kind of, they can go through 160 degrees, but I really don't want to get into it because it's sucky whenever they move because one part moves, the other part moves. It just sucks. Um, his knees can move in two points too, like his elbows. Kind of creepy looking, again. His legs can go 360 degrees and they can go in and out. So, and his chest can go out and in like he's breathing. And that's about it. He's pretty cool. He's very poseable. Surprisingly, his main colors are red and gold, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but he has great eye detail. It makes it look like there's light inside of there. But yeah, he's cool. I recommend him. He's pretty awesome. I'm probably going to get the Mark 1 if it ever goes on clearance. But you can, like, do stuff with him like he's flying, like... Repulsor Blast! Psh, psh. That's cool. Really detailed. I mean, you guys can see a 360 of him. Da, 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 da. He's cool. You, it's worth getting. I like him. If you are in Iron Man, great collection piece. If you want to get all three marks, if you want to get all three versions, they have the old, the, the scrap one. They have the the prototype one, and then they have this one, and then they have the one that has mask comes off and his chest comes off. Kind of undressing Iron Man mostly, but he's cool. He's awesome. Worth getting. I like him. You'll like him. Everybody will like him. So I'm Iron Man, and this is goodbye.